Some serious firepower is off the streets tonight. Take a look at this haul. Illegal guns seized in a major weapons trafficking investigation. CTV's Austin Delaney is live with more. Austin. Well, Toronto police saying tonight the streets are safer after they raided several locations, seizing practically a warehouse full of handguns, ready to be sold to anyone with the right money and the right connection. Interim Police Chief James Raymer surveying the haul of guns from Project Barbell, 62 in all, destined for the streets. Mostly semi-automatic handguns, but three AK-type guns, five AR-15 carbine-type guns. The head of the Guns and Gangs Task Force says it is now not unusual for those living a criminal lifestyle to be packing comments. lethal force. That's what it comes down to, immediate access and availability of firearms on the person. I mean, on your immediate person. One of the men arrested also now charged in an October 21 shooting inside Bar Karma at Queen in Portland. This incident happened in a crowded bar after an altercation between two opposing groups. So many loaded guns sold on the streets for between $4,500 and $6,000 a piece now being concealed and carried as a lifestyle. And one of the things that concerns us more than anything else is the number of innocent victims that are being caught in the crossfire. When you're downtown at some of these clubs and shots are being fired and, and some un unsuccess unsuspecting person is catching around. And these individuals needed to be to be, need to be treated severely or who are involved in this kind of activity. The chief asking for bail reform, that bail hearings for the most serious firearm offences be heard by provincial judges rather than a justice of the peace. I think they have, a, they have better legal training, of course, and they have a better understanding of the trauma and the impact that, that uh, these occurrences are having on, on victims and families. And so uh, from our perspective, we think it would, they are much better suited to do it. The president of the Criminal Lawyers Association disagrees. It just makes no sense. Uh, I mean, to be frank, the idea that a judge would apply the law any differently than a justice of the peace really undermines the, our, our justice system. Uh, it's not true that people who are um, out there committing crimes right now have been released on bail. Daniel Brown points out the highest courts have enshrined constitutional protection to reasonable bail. So four people in custody facing a long list of gun charges, two of them arrested with loaded guns, one's in a restaurant, one had two loaded guns on him. Point live for police headquarters. I'm Austin Delaney.